Kenny Dalglish had well and truly arrived, accelerating the recovery started under Tony Parks and making a quick inspection of his inheritance. Within 12 days of his arrival, the buying began. Kenny's first acquisition was Ray Harford, a Premier coach for the assault on the Premier League. Don Mackay once joked that it took two First Division managers to replace him. Doug Lee, still a force at 40 in the Daily Five Asides, was adamant that only the best would do for Blackburn. His first signing was Blackpool's junior international, Alan Wright. At five feet five, one of the league's smallest players, but at 20, one of its most promising. Pound for pound, it's debatable whether there was a better signing during the season. Wright was an instant hit. Next came Colin Hendry, a big-hearted defender whose heart had never really left Blackburn. After two years away at Manchester City, he returned in November to the club for whom he'd scored a Wembley winner. Hendry, the first player to take the step down from the top flight. Mike Newell had turned Blackburn down during the summer, but that was before his boyhood idol had moved into the manager's office. Dalglish's magnetism was the key to Rover's first million-pound signing. Gordon Cowan's cost a fifth of that, forsaking top-grade football for the first time in his illustrious career to lend his stealth and experience to the emerging master plan. The Cowan signing said a lot about Dalglish's approach to the promotion bid.